Now to begin, we'll put some pieces of glass together that are pretty much the same color, and then we'll decide what we're going to make. In this, I wanted to make a pendant and a pair of earrings. So I try to get two pieces of glass that are smaller for earrings, that match in color, and a pendant for the center. Now, do I want silver or gold wire? Hmm, for this particular one, I think I'm going to use gold. We're going to start with the pendant, and that's the easiest one to start with anyway. The wire you usually use is a little bit heavier. In this case, I'm using 24 gauge wire. I'm going to measure off approximately 10 to 12 inches because I think that's about what it's going to take. Now I'm going to start with my rounded pliers and I'm going to fold the wire in half and then I'm going to do a wrap around the plier forming a circular hole and then I'm going to pinch that so that it holds together and then I'm going to start to make my spine by twisting the wire all the way down trying to make a straight line. Now when I think I've got it pretty much close I'm going to measure it with my stone and see how far I come down. Now depending on how you want to wrap it is going to determine how far the spine goes down. To hold the stone sturdy on this one, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Like so. And now I'm going to swing it around and start my wrap. For this particular one, I'm going to use what I call a double X pattern. So I'm going to form two X's across the stone itself. Then I'll bring it up to the top and I'll wrap it around about three or four times and then I'll take it and I'll clip it so that when I finish my wrap the sharp point will be towards the front next to the stone so that it won't catch on any material or your finger or anything like that and then just make sure that you can't feel it. Now start with the other piece and bring it up and again do two X's, bring it across the top and start your wrap up the center all the way up to the top and again we're going to bring that around and we're going to try to make it so that it comes all the way around to the front of the piece so that it doesn't catch on anything. There's a pendant to start. Now I'm going to take my round pliers and again I'm going to work it a little bit and make sure my hole is nice and clean. And then I'm going to take a jump ring and to open a jump ring take two pairs of pliers and open it sideways. Don't pull it apart. Turn it sideways. Put your piece on and then just simply turn it sideways again to close it up. Again, don't pull it apart, you'll bend it. Now simply put a chain on it and there you have it. 
opinion.